As Taylor Swift finished her last show of the night, the room behind the scenes was buzzing with joy. As she left the stage, her heart was still racing from the adrenaline. She made her way to her mother's hug, where she felt safe and at ease. Andrea Swift held her daughter close and whispered, You were amazing tonight, my darling. She was really proud of her daughter. Thanks, Mom, Taylor said with a big smile on her face. Travis was in the crowd. Did you get to talk to him? Andrea thought about what she was going to say for a moment. I did, she said. And he seems like a lovely young man. Taylor's heart beat fast. She was deeply in love with Travis Kelsey, the tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. They had been dating for a few months. She fell in love with him right away because of his charm, wit, and contagious excitement. What else did you say to him? Taylor asked her mom with interest. Andrea paused again, and her eyes lit up with a hint of mischief. I told him, she began, that you deserve a man who can handle your passion, energy, and drive. The kind of man who can meet your creativity and skill. Taylor's smile got bigger. She was loved and cared for by her mother in a perfect way. She couldn't hold back her interest and asked, and what did Travis say? Andrea let out a soft laugh. He claimed to be eager to take on the task. And he said something else, she added with a smile that showed she knew what she was talking about. Taylor turned her head and looked forward with her eyes sparkling. What did he say? Andrea leaned in close, and her voice was almost silent. He told me that no other woman has ever moved, inspired, or challenged him like you do. For your sake, he promised to do anything to make you happy. Taylor let out a gasp and put her hand to her chest. She had no words. Her heart was filled with happiness and thanks. She finally got out, Mom, her voice heavy with emotion. Thank you. For everything. Stephanie smiled and gave her mom a kiss on the face. Thank you, sweetheart. Find your man and tell him how you feel. Taylor turned and walked toward the backroom door with more confidence. She couldn't wait to see Travis, hug him, and tell him how much she loved him. The warm glow of the Nashville sunset turned the sky orange and pink, making it the perfect setting for the small get-together on the Swift family's large back porch. You know, Taylor Swift, the pop star, was curled up on a wicker chair with her mother, Andrea, and drinking sweet tea. Travis Kelsey, Taylor's boyfriend and a star tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs, was inside talking game plans with Taylor's dad, Scott. Crickets chirping and Taylor's guitar sitting in her lap were the only sounds that broke the comfortable silence between her and Andrea. And then, out of the blue, Andrea spoke up and said something that left Taylor speechless. Andrea began, you know, honey, her eyes sparkling with a smile, Travis reminds me so much of your dad when we first met. Taylor was pretty close to choke on her sweet tea. What? She blurted out, her mind running to think of any way that the quiet, smart Scott might be like the loud, athletic Travis. Andrea said, oh, that's right. They're both really passionate about what they do. Like Travis, your dad was always deep in his law books. They both have a beautiful energy that makes any room brighter. It was still hard for Taylor to understand the connection. But mom, she said, they're not at all like that. My dad is shy and quiet, and Travis is just Travis. Andrea laughed. She said, that's what I love about him. He shows me a side of you I haven't seen in a while. You're less worried and more impulsive. You look beautiful, honey. Taylor's chest felt warm. It was real. She felt free and happy for the first time since she started meeting Travis. He shocked her, made her laugh, and pushed her in ways that no one else could. Taylor said, I guess you're right, with a small smile on her face. They are both pretty special. Travis walked out of the house with a big smile on his face, as if on cue. He said, hey there, ladies, and his eyes lit up when they saw Taylor. She got up from her chair and said, Travis, I was just telling Taylor how much you remind me of her dad. Travis's smile got bigger. He put his arm around Taylor's shoulders and said, well, that's high praise. I'll try my best to live up to it. Taylor looked between her mother and her boyfriend, and she felt completely happy. It's possible that her mom was right. 
it's possible that Travis and her dad shared more than she thought. And just maybe, this love story that came out of the blue was meant to be. Taylor Swift was sitting across from her mother, Andrea, in the cozy breakfast nook of their Nashville home. The smell of freshly made coffee filled the room. Through the window, the morning light came in and gave the scene a warm glow. Mom, I can't believe how well you and Travis get along, Taylor said with a laugh as she added sugar to her coffee. I mean, you two were practically thick as thieves at the game last night. Andrea smiled, and her eyes lit up with happiness. Oh, honey, Travis is wonderful. He seems really nice and funny, and it's clear that he loves you very much. She blushed, and her heart swelled with joy. It meant a lot to her that her mom liked it. I know, mom, she said with a happy sigh. I'm incredibly lucky. She reached across the table and gave Taylor a squeeze on the hand. My sweetheart, you deserve all the happiness in the world. And Travis. She stopped, and there was a sly look in her eyes. What about Travis, mom? As Taylor leaned in to hear more, he was excited. She enjoyed a sip of her coffee and the moment. Well, let's just say he's definitely got the Swift family seal of approval. She winked and smiled in a sneaky way. Taylor laughed, but she was interested. Mom, what are you getting at? Jennifer leaned in with a sneaky look. She started by lowering her voice, last night I talked to your dad. And we both agreed that Travis, well, he's definitely husband material. Taylor's mouth dropped open in shock, and her eyes grew big. Did her mom really say what she thought she did? Andrea went on, her smile getting bigger. He's kind, respectful, successful, and most importantly, he makes you happier than I've ever seen you. Taylor couldn't say anything. She didn't think her mom would be so open about her friendship with Travis. She knew her mom was right, though. Travis was the perfect partner for her, and the thought of being with him for the rest of her life made her happy. Mom, Taylor finally got out, her voice choked with emotion. I love you so much. Andrea squeezed her daughter's hand once more, and her eyes lit up with love and pride. Yes, I love you too, sweetheart. I can't wait to see what comes next for you and Travis. Taylor smiled, and her heart was filled with thanks. She was ready to start a new chapter in her life with Travis because she knew she had found something special. Her family had given their approval. The warm California sun came in through the floor-to-ceiling windows of Taylor Swift's home in Beverly Hills. Taylor was having a casual Sunday lunch with her mother Andrea and her boyfriend Travis Kelsey. The mood was happy and full of laughter until Andrea said something that made Taylor speechless. When Andrea spoke to Travis, her eyes lit up with laughter. You know, you remind me a lot of Taylor's father when he was your age. After that, there was a beat of quiet while Taylor almost choked on her mimosa. Travis, who is always charming, laughed and said, well, ma'am, I think that's a high compliment. Scott looks like a great person. Andrea said yes, and a warm smile appeared on her face. Yes, he is. They both have an amazing joy for life and a strong desire to do what they love. She took a moment to look back and forth between Taylor and Travis. And both of them have a way of making my daughter fall in love with them. Taylor, whose skin was now the color of a ripe strawberry, could only stare at her mother with wide eyes. Could her mother really be comparing Travis, a professional football player known for being loud and scoring a lot of touchdowns, to her quiet, smart father? Mom! Taylor finally managed to sputter out, and her voice was a mix of shame and laughter. That's, that's quite the comparison. Andrea laughed and put her hand on Taylor's across the table. Come on, honey, don't be so shy. I meant it as a praise to both of them. I love Travis, you know that. With a wink, she added, it's also okay for the man you love to have a little of your dad in him. Travis, being a gentleman as always, raised his glass in a fake toast. Then to Scott. May I always live up to his memory in Taylor's eyes. Taylor couldn't help but smile as she watched what was happening, even though she was still a little nervous. The unexpected connection her mother made between her and her sister made their brunch more friendly and understanding. 
That moment reminded me that love can be found in strange places and that the most unusual pairs can-